Five Minute Devotions for Children, Scary Owls. Barn owls are sometimes called the ghosts of the barnyard. <clears throat> they aren't ghosts at all, but large white and tan birds that help farmers get rid of pests like rats and mice. The reason people have made up scary stories about barn owls is because when they fly at night hunting for food, their light feathers seem to glow in the dark. The owls also make spooky sounds like screeches, wails, and hissing. They swoop over fields and meadows just a few feet above the ground and sometimes startle people who might be outside for a walk. Farmers know that owls are their friends and often make special places in their barns where the owls can make their nests. God knows that when we don't understand things, we often become frightened, especially at night when it is dark. Sometimes we make up scary stories to explain th these things. Then we get even more scared. In the Bible, God tells us he loves us and we can trust him. He knows that there are many things we don't understand, but he doesn't want us to be afraid. God is with us in the daytime as well as in the night. What do you say? Okay, in the picture, can you find the owl that is nesting and the two owls that are hunting? Hmm, okay, I seem to see three owls in this picture. One, two, three. So we see one is nesting. It's right here. And we see two that are hunting. They're flying around, aren't they? Why have people made up scary stories about the barn owl? Okay, remember from our lesson? Let's see. The reason people have made up scary stories about barn owls is because when they fly at night hunting for their food, their light feathers seem to glow in the dark. The owls also make spoo spooky sounds like screeches, wails, and hissing. They swoop over fields and meadows just a few feet above the ground and sometimes startle people who might be outside for a walk. So that would be kind of scary if you're outside and you hear some shrieks, wails, and hissing, wouldn't it? How can trusting God help us when we are afraid? Hmm. Think about that. First of all, you have to trust God, don't you? Then you have to ask him to help you. What are some things that make you afraid? Mm, that'd be something you might want to talk to somebody about. What does God say? But when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, 3. Lord, please help us to put our trust in you anytime that we're afraid. In Jesus' name, amen.